Are you all up here? Okay, we're all up here. I'm going to ask you all. Have you all ever heard the story of Cain and Abel? You have? No. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit of the Cain. I mean, I'll try to tell you a short version of it. I'll leave out some, some details, but there were these two brothers named Cain and Abel. And one of them gave, when he wanted to give a gift to God, and so he gave one of, the, one of his sheep from his flock. And the other brother, well, he was, he was a farmer. He wasn't a, he wasn't a rancher or a sheep. So he wanted to give a gift to God as well. And so he gave part of his, his corn. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And, but for some reason, God liked the gift that the first brother, uh, and his name was Abel. So God, li or for some reason, God liked the gift that, that Abel gave better than the one he, that Cain gave. And so Cain got upset. He didn't get upset with God. He got upset with his brother. Now, who's, who's, who's ever gotten upset with their brother or their sister? Uh-huh. Yeah. I can. I'll raise my hand on all of my tires because I'm still, I still get mad at my brothers and sisters. Anyway. But God came to him and said, why are you mad? And he said, you know, the more you get mad, the more you're going you're gonna to re regret it. And he said, you know, if, you, if you're allowed to stay mad, if you, if you stay mad, you know what? Sin is right there waiting for you and knocking at your door. And you don't want sin to, to knock at your door, do you? You don't want to do bad things. Well, Cain didn't listen, and he hit his brother, and the worst thing that could have happened, his brother died. Well, you know, sometimes God warns us, you know, talks to us. Maybe it's through our parents. My parents always told, told me if we didn't stop fighting, they were going to tie us together and allow each other to kill her. But, you know, until we finally said, let's go for it. But anyways, that's, sometimes your parents... Are speaking what God says. And you know what? It's, it's good to listen. When your parents tell you to, to stop fighting with your brother and your sister. Because they know that you might do something you, you might regret. You might hit them and hurt them. Or you might say something really mean and hurt their feelings. You know, so sometimes it's good to listen. Well, it's good to listen to your parents all the time. But in this instance, you know what? Just think of it as God saying, you better watch out. You, you, better, you better get in, play nice with your brother and sister. Otherwise, you might do something that you'll regret. So remember that. To pay attention to what your parents say. And don't, don't get mad at your brother and sister. Or if you do, try to, try to calm down. So let, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon these, these children here. We ask that you would, that you would continue to, to use them as a blessing in our lives, that you would use us as a blessing in their lives. And Lord, help them to, to get along with each other and with their brothers and sisters and with their parents. Lord, we ask this all in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Well, you can